there are times when you feel you are way behind others and in the tech industry this is never ending race but catching up and getting ahead of most software engineers might be easier than you think here in this video i'll tell you the strategies that will elevate your software engineering career but wait it's not about being a coding genius while practicing day and night it's about mastering those key areas that are most people overlook the myth of a raw talent let me bust a myth for you raw talent is seriously overrated you don't need to be the next linus torvalds to succeed what truly sets top engineers apart is consistent effort and smart strategies you know what's funny many engineers think they need to be naturally gifted but here's the truth it's more about being methodological than magical a recent survey revealed that engineers who consistently worked on honing their core skills were 60% more likely to land high paying roles than those who just jumped from one trendy technology to the next remember that colleague who wasn't the smartest in the room but somehow kept getting promoted they didn't have natural talent they were just better at focusing on the right thing mastering the fundamentals you probably heard from everyone that mastering fundamentals are crucial no matter how cliche it sounds this is the truth i can understand that learning the basics may not seem appealing or as flashy as the latest javascript framework but trust me on this it's essential focus on data structures algorithm system design and core programming languages like c sharp java or python these are the building blocks think of it like this if you are building a house fancy paint doesn't matter if the foundation is shaky and let's be real when was the last time you heard about someone landing a job because they could name every single javascript library exactly you can also take some leverages of unfair advantage leveraging unfair advantage play smart go and specialize something that's in demand but also is not overhyped whether it's a niche framework or a specific aspects of cloud computing finding the sweet spot can benefit you here's a case study for you take sara for example While everyone was jumping on the AI bandwagon, she specialized in C sharp with .NET Core. Guess who is now fielding offers from top companies? You see, it's not about following the crowd; it's about finding your edge. And let's not forget about building your personal brand. Blogging, speaking at conferences, or even contributing to open source can make you stand out. Remember in today's world it's not about what you know but also about who knows what you know I have a question for you do you think a degree is enough to succeed well this thinking is wrong continuous learning and growth mindset the truth is continuous learning is the key there has been a quick evolution in the industry and is continuing to evolve that's why it's crucial to adopt a growth mindset and never stop learning developers who consistently upskill themselves through online courses coding challenges and reading tech blogs are 40% more likely to be promoted within 2 years sticking to just what you learn in college you might end up being that person who's always playing catch up now a quick tip from my end set aside time every week for learning whether it's an hour a day or full saturday session your future self will thank you now when you have learning by your side you will meet like minded individuals they will be your network networking and community engagement there is a saying that it's not what you know but who you know In tech this couldn't be more true building a strong network can open doors that raw skills alone cannot 
collaborate on projects, never miss on meetups, connect with people on LinkedIn. You never know where your next opportunity might come from. Let me share a true story with you. I had a friend who got a job at a top tech company, not because of an online application, but because he connected with the right person at a right conference. Sometimes it's all about being at the right place at the right time. Making connection is all right, but you will also need to pace up your job search, right? Mastering the job search process, a solid resume and interview prep are non-negotiable. Your resume should highlight your impact, not just your job duties. And that's what our recruiter seeks in a resume. Show how you have made a difference. And for the interview part, practice as much as you can. Mock interviews, coding challenges will help you in being perfect. Don't just focus on solving the problem, focus on explaining your thought process. Companies don't just want the right answer, they want to see how you think. Now here's a quick tip for you. When negotiating offers, don't just jump at the first number, know your words, and don't be afraid to ask for what you deserve. In the process, you will be probably reaching a point where you'll feel drained and struggling to juggle work and life, managing burnouts and managing work-life balance. Remember, hustle is great, but burnout is real. Don't let work consume you. Take time for yourself, your loved ones and your passions. But as there are two sides of the coin, you will also hear a contradiction of it. That's working longer means achieving more. But research shows that consistent overwork leads to diminishing returns. So it sums up. So repeat. So to sum it up, beating most software engineers isn't about being the smartest person. It's about being smart about how you work. Always learning and focusing on what matters. If you want to boost your career, join me and let's do this together. Thanks for watching.